So one of the biggest keys for building a successful business is building an email list, but it can be challenging. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my five biggest tips for building an email list fast using YouTube. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of tech gear reviews, but also tips and strategy videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out a show summary and show notes in the YouTube description below. Let's jump into the tips. So one of the big mistakes that I see a lot of people making is actually not focusing on building their email list. I think there's a misconception that goes around that thinks, oh, it's not important. And a lot of focus and attention is on getting more followers on social media, getting more subscribers on YouTube. But there's a huge problem with that, and that is this. You don't own those communication channels. We've seen it happen on Facebook. Organic reach at one time was really good there, but then as time went on, less and less people are seeing your posts, even if they've subscribed, even if they're a fan of yours, that doesn't even mean that you can get your message to them. And even here on YouTube, most channels have less than 10% of their subscribers even seeing their videos in their main subscription feed. And that's a huge problem, right? Because just because someone subscribed to you or following you on social media does not mean you're reaching them with your message or your content. And so that's why I always encourage entrepreneurs, creatives, and video influencers to be building an email list because it gives you an opportunity to get in front of the community that you're building, the tribe you're building, despite what happens with social media platforms, algorithms, or even if a platform was to disappear tomorrow. Essentially, any of your social media pr presence is on rented land, but your email list is something that you can own and then a group of people that you're able to communicate with in a deeper way over the long haul. And currently here on YouTube, between 100 to 200 new people are signing up for our various email lists across the various brands that I'm working with. And this is organic. These are people who are you know, interested, obviously, in the niche that I'm in and the message that we're communicating. And that's not from paid traffic. We'll do that too. We'll do ads sometimes places and we can even drive those numbers up. But that is literally just from YouTube. So I really believe that YouTube is one of the best ways to build a thriving email list. And to illustrate the power of this even further, a recent Think Media newsletter that we sent out got an open rate of 35.96%. That's a pretty good open rate in the email marketing space, but that's also pretty incredible because I'll tell you this, a Facebook post that we put up a lot of times might have a reach of 150 people, even though I have thousands of Facebook likes. You know, Instagram has an algorithm, even Twitter does now too, that doesn't mean that just because you have a certain number of followers that your content is getting in front of them. But out of our email list, 30% of people saw the content and was able to read through and open that email. You can't get close to that on any other social platform. There's no social network that comes close to that kind of attention that still exists in email. And the click-through rate on that same email was almost 3%. That means that if everybody that opened it, they clicked, 3% uh, of people clicked through to go watch a video, to go check out a piece of content, to you know see a live stream, and that again, Click-through rates on social media don't come close to that, yet let alone someone even seeing it in the first place to being able to click it. And so I really want to encourage you to be thinking about building an email list as part of your overall strategy online. But how do you actually do it? Let's jump in to these five tips. Tip number one is you need to pick an email service provider. This is also known as like a CRM. And these are services like MailChimp, Aweber, Infusionsoft, ConvertKit, I currently use GetResponse, and I wanna encourage you, you can do a lot of research here, but don't get stuck here. It, it does matter, but the important thing is just to get started. But one power tip is, 
If you start with a certain email provider, make sure ahead of time that you're able to export the email list and the contact information that you get from them. And that way you can switch at any time. For me, I actually started with MailChimp a few years ago because I was able to use just the free version for quite a while before needing to switch to the paid version. However, I eventually learned that they weren't very favorable to affiliate marketing. And I think that affiliate marketing is one of the best ways to you know, generate income online so I switched to GetResponse. And since that time, I've absolutely loved them. Um, it's been amazing. They not only have a good basic model, but eventually you can move into some advanced automation. So whether you're a beginner or whether you're even more of an advanced marketer, GetResponse has been pretty incredible. And so I'll list some resources below so you can research this a little bit and even check those out. And what's cool is you can also, of course, always do free trials um, with things like GetResponse to just test it out, see if it works for you, how you like it and things like that. Tip number two is create something cool to give away in exchange for a person's contact information for their email list. And so in our space, this is called either a freemium or a freebie or a lead magnet. And this is where, if you've been around Think Media for very long, you know that at the end of the video, I'm like, hey, if you want to download the free Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, uh, you know, I'll link it up in the description below, that's a free gift. And that is, instead of just saying, hey, jump on our newsletter, it's saying, hey, Here's something actually cool that's actually valuable and you can download that in exchange for signing up for the email list. And so a couple power tips here. The first one is make it really valuable. Like you actually want it to be cool and it doesn't have to be a PDF. It could be an audio file. It could be uh, a video that is only available you know, privately. It's not a public YouTube video or it's embedded on a page somewhere. It could be a checklist. It could be just something quick and cool that's gonna get results for the people that want those results in your space and in your niche. And then the second quick tip is you wanna make sure that it also is specific. And then what I mean is when you have a specific free gift for people, you want to be able to know why they signed up for that list so that you can talk to them based on that interest. For example, on my channel, Sean Cannell, I actually have a free download that's about like productivity and high performance in life. And so people who sign up for that email list, what are they interested in? High performance, productivity in life. The people who sign up for a download of the best video gear for every budget for YouTube, what are they interested in? Well, cameras, maybe YouTube tips, maybe not even YouTube tips, maybe just video gear. Like, hey, I want to save money on lenses. I don't know all about cameras, so help me, give me the shortcut. So then inside of my email list provider, GetResponse, those are segments and I can talk to just this group of people and just that group of people in different ways. If I talk to the high performance group and I was like, hey guys, you know, a new camera came out, what are they gonna do? Unsubscribe. That's not why we signed up. That's not what we were interested in. Don't bother us with that. And then on the flip side, if I was like, I know you downloaded a free gear guide, but I'd love to tell you about, you know, how to be more productive, what are they gonna do? unsubscribe because it's not why they signed up in the first place. So I encourage you to strategically think about the free gift that you get and the tribe of people that uh, and community of people that are signing up for that. It gives you how to talk to them, but it also clarifies for you what they would be interested in, what they wouldn't be interested in, so that you can add consistent value over time and not have people unsubscribe because you're random and all over the place. The third tip and the next step is to then set up a landing page or this is a lead capture page or a squeeze page. And you've seen these before and here's a couple examples of various ones that we have for um, our brands. And this is just a place where now you can say, here's the free gift that you're gonna get, whether it's a free video, whether it's a free download. And if you enter your name and email or adjust your email, then I'm gonna send you this. And that, and that gives people a way to actually sign up so they can get on your email list. What's cool here is that most of the email service providers actually allow you to create landing pages right inside. So there are other services for this, but then you maybe need to sign up for something else that might even cost more money. So when you're just getting started, you can definitely use the landing pages or capture pages or squeeze pages that are just a part of your current email service provider. Okay, so you've picked an email service provider, you've created a free gift, you've set up a landing page, now you're ready for tip number four, and that is 
to give call to actions for people to sign up and download your free gift and join your list in your YouTube videos. And I encourage you, you can do this like in every video, typically at the end, and always tie it into the content of your video. And so if you had a video with five tips on how to meal prep for the week, by the end of the video, you could say, hey, if you wanna actually download my grocery shopping list checklist, you can grab that as well. And it ties into the content of your YouTube video and it gives people the next step to go to another level with you, to download something with you, and then to also kind of join your inner circle. And again, even that person maybe watched the video, maybe they didn't subscribe on YouTube, or maybe they subscribe on YouTube, but your videos aren't showing up in their feed. The cool thing is if they sign up for your email list, then you can send out a weekly newsletter and have another way to drive views, to drive traffic to your content, to your video, to whatever it is you're promoting. And so what we've done on Video Influencers, on Think Media, is just consistently, video after video, we've put these videos out, and at the end of every video, we give call to actions to different free gifts that we have, depending on what the topic is, what the niche is. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Please share this video with someone that you think would benefit from our content. And we also have a guide with 19 things to do every time you upload a YouTube video. So if you haven't done downloaded that. We'll link it up in the description below as well as on the YouTube card. It's free and then you'll also get weekly tips just like this one in your email inbox. And that is exactly how we ha now have between 100 to 200 new people joining our email list every day because we've put out a, a library of videos that are getting views on YouTube, whether we work or not. And as we talk to people for a while, some people say, yeah, I'd love to go to the next level. I'd love to be a part of the inner circle. I'd love to you know, join the tribe and join the community and download whatever the free gift is. And they're able to go to the next level. And then tip number five is to actually repeat this process over and over again. And so here's a couple actionable tips here. The first one is again, just you can repeatedly talk about it in consistent videos. Maybe you post a video a week on YouTube. Every video you can talk about your free gift and joining your inner circle or your newsletter or whatever it is. But then you can eventually expand into creating more freemiums, more lead magnets, whatever you wanna call them, that can also serve maybe different micro tribes of your overall niche and your overall community. And so if you've never set this up before, I encourage you to only focus on like one free gift, building one segmented audience, and just actually building up one thing at a time. But eventually, you can expand like we've done. And so we have some free gifts that are related to free video trainings about product reviews. We've got free gifts related to just smartphone accessories or just video gear accessories, you know, YouTube tips over on Video Influencers. So this takes time to build. And I don't, again, encourage you to try to do like five at once, just focus on one. But if you repeat this process over and over and over again, that is how you can build a sizable email list. So I hope that you can see the value of building an email list and that these five tips were helpful. But I realized that I didn't spend a lot of time actually talking about how to get views and get a ton of traffic on your YouTube videos so that they can watch your video and then join your email list. And so if you wanna learn more about that, probably the best resource I have is at learnyoutubetoday.com. And that's actually a 45 minute um, masterclass that breaks down how to get views, you know, how to get more exposure, and how to get you know, views even when you're not working, how to get your videos showing up in search results, so that way your email list and your audience can grow on autopilot whether you work that day or not. So again, link to that in the description below or on the YouTube card. Question of the day, have you started building your email list yet? Do you see the value in building an email list? And what are some of your best tips? Let me know in the comment section below and remember that some of the best tips and feedback come from you, the Think Media TV community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comment section. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. Hit the like button if you got value out of this video. There's a link on the screen if you wanna check out that free YouTube masterclass. And until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon. Um, <laughs>